trong số luôn Come, come, come! Get this thing out of sight! Sanctuary for all. The power of your law stops at this doorway. It's got to come out sometime. <laughs> the court of Spain sent a man across the ocean to discover a new world. Our king, our king would have us believe that there is no world beyond the walls of this city. They tax oh, our fish, our meat, our salt. Is there shortage of food? on the tables of the Palais Royale. She's about to begin. What's going on? Let me answer the question. Politics wrapped up in the skin of ask. drama. Why are there no books in Paris save those in our churches? He's good. Well, I will tell you. A populist? Because Worse. An idealist. Are of one mind. He's mine. That you should have no minds of your own. Citizens of Paris. Knowledge is power. We must not sit idly by. We must rise up. Rise up and sit down! <laughs> <laughs> They'll raise you up high enough on the gallows! <laughs> or by keeping the people ignorant. Oh, oh, here we have an expert on ignorance, eh? <laughs> Shut up, you fool. I'm giving these people the truth. The citizens of Paris don't need the truth. We need dancing! We need music! La Esmeralda! We need La Esmeralda! La Esmeralda! <laughs> What's 
your name? Esmeralda. Esmeralda. The time has come, the moment is here for us to choose our king! <laughs> king of the fools! So, don't forget, it's the ugliest face that wins the crown, all right? So, men, women, come on up, come on up! If your face is gruesome, grotesque, or just plain grisly, bring it up. <laughs> if your face is revolting, repulsive, let's have a look at it. If your face is like the arse end of a donkey. <laughs> Let's have a laugh. Men, women, the ugliest face. Will it be this one? <laughs> what do you think? How do you like her face? How can they even look? I think the ugly is very appealing. To some people, maybe. Not to me. It's a matter of taste. <laughs> Good God. You, man, come here. Now, don't you want to be famous, eh? Of course you do. Bring him up, bring him up. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, one foot at a time, all right? Come on.
we knew he was ugly, but we didn't know he was this ugly. Ah, yo! Oh, 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 old friend, you win the contest, you understand? I mean, we want you to be the king of the fools! So, so what, what, do you, what do you say? What's the matter? Can't, can't you speak? He's dead! Don't make him dead! Seven dogs! That he should be king of France? <laughs> Come on, Esmeralda. There isn't a man in Paris who wouldn't accept a death sentence if it was delivered by your hand. Go on. Share. Come on, we'll miss the king of the fools. Did you know that Monsignor Follow has the royal guard searching everywhere for books? What possible danger lies in books? Enjoy the festival. Old Frollo is old and set in his ways. He hasn't ventured beyond the steps of the cathedral for a decade. Oh, 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 oh! Hey, Thank you! 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 Oh. <sighs> 
order. They have humiliated you. Have you no pride? Quasimodo, do you not understand? You have been touched by God. He has chosen you to go directly to heaven. He brought you to our steps those many years ago to protect you against the cruelties of man. abiding man has ever walked. Where the king's guard who ventured into it vanished in small pieces. You are in the court of miracles. 
where gypsies, unfocked priests and wastrels from every nation are beggars by day and men by night. A vast dressing room in which the entire cast of a never-ending comedy performed on the streets of Paris by theft, prostitution and murder don and remove their costume. <laughs> You were the director of this unholy theatre company, I suppose. <laughs> I am king. King of thieves? Oh, no, no, no. Here I am king. Monarch! Pope! God! And you don't belong. That's right. <laughs> no, no, I am the man who tried to enlighten the noble citizens of Paris to your plight this morning in the Great Square. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you want to help us? Hmm? Speak out in our defence. <laughs> what do you know of us? Eh? You're worse than the nobles. You are an intellectual. They treat us like cattle. You make us into causes. Neither puts bread on the table. You have entered the kingdom of the downtrodden without having been trod upon. The law that Paris applies to us thieves, we thieves will apply to you. Huh? You will be hanged. What? <laughs> Up he goes! No, <laughs> please, yeah. Right, right. You comfortable? <laughs> Just wink. <laughs> On my word, Simone will take leave of her perch and you will take leave of this earth. Oh. <laughs> Please! Not now. What about the law of Bohemia? Yeah, she's right. The law of Bohemia. <laughs> what law of Bohemia? All right. The law of Bohemia says that a king can't hang a man without asking if there's a, a gypsy woman who wants him. You either marry a thief or the rope. And no japes about being well hung. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, women, is there a trollop among you from the witch down to her she cat who will have this silver tongued rodent? Please, someone. A man for nothing. Well, work for money. Who will have him? Please, I'll be a good husband, please. Hang him. Hang him. Hang him. Oh, no. No. Going once! No. Going twice! Take him! La Esmeralda! You ruin our sport, Esmeralda. I said I will marry this man. Let him down! Here is your saviour. Bravo. She is your wife. Sister. Is your husband. Amen. I am Esmeralda. Grangua. Kia Grangua. I'm serious. Janet loves me. She's been with me since she was born. I think she knows what I'm thinking. I wish I knew what you were thinking. I'm thinking you're liking this gypsy life. Can't complain. No. Nope. I'm ready to live with you as husband and wife. As brother and sister, if you prefer. I'm enough of a philosopher to keep everything in the proper equilibrium. If we what? 
the proper balance. Oh, you're a juggler. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I don't juggle. Then you must learn. I'll teach you. But I don't want to. Look, if you're going to be my husband, you're going to need a trade. I have a trade. I'm an orator. You'll be a juggler. Watch, it's very easy. <laughs> but I could never do that. Yes, you can. Come here, try it. Two balls on this hand, one ball on this hand. All you have to do is throw and catch. Throw and catch. And keep your elbows close to your body. Here. <laughs> oh, it's no use. I I'm not a juggler. I don't even want to be a juggler. Because I wanted to. Keep practicing. Down. Dom Frollo is his guardian. Helping me. Yes, but they will never listen. Now the poet's right. We can't get involved. Eminence, can you not stop this? Yes. I can. Cosimodo. Treat me. I can't stand this. Your Highness, Your Highness, my Lord! What's that? Down here, sir. It's a dancing girl. An appeal, your majesty. Bring her out here. What have you done, Jack? Not I. I appeal for the hunchback. I am the woman he was supposed to have assaulted. It's not true. This man is being whipped for assaulting a gypsy. That was the decision of the court, my lord. But he is innocent. A gypsy. We must protect our citizens. It acts as a lesson to those who would assault a real woman. Oh, very well. But your highness! Your highness! The hunchback's innocent! 47! 48! 49! The prisoner will be exposed to one full hour of public display. Ah! <laughs> 
has it been since my coronation? Ten years? You've hidden yourself away all this time. I've missed your presence at court.
And this is where I am happiest, Your Majesty. Within these walls, everything I need is here. But it should not be so unusual to see you within these walls. Yes. Well, I've been bound up with affairs of this world. Secure in the knowledge that you are taking care of the affairs of the next. Now, Claude, I can see why my High Minister keeps asking me to come down here. Doesn't look like much. The German inventor Gutenberg called it a printing press. Yeah, the Germans, the Germans, only the Germans could have invented such a damnable contraption. Damnable? It's just a machine. Made in hell. Please, Monseigneur. This machine could topple a kingdom. Your kingdom. Come, come, Claude, don't exaggerate. What's this? It's the first page of the book they were printing when we seized this monstrosity. Liberty. A call for freedom. Who wrote this? Does it matter? With the press, anyone can become an author. Anyone's opinions can be as important as anyone else's. That is the danger to my king. Say what you really mean. This isn't about political pamphlets. It's about the suppression of knowledge. Wrong. Wrong, sir. You are wrong. I love knowledge. It is my catechism. Science. History. Drama. Knowledge is the true purpose of the church. Come. In our library, we have books that have survived the burning of the libraries of Alexandria. Books that contain knowledge that has no other record. Books, Your Majesty, written by man, by the hand of man, not by a machine. The press can distribute that knowledge to the masses more easily. Easy? <laughs> Easy? Your Majesty, easy is a trap. When attaining knowledge becomes easy. When a man has no longer to labor a year over a single tome. When people no longer seek knowledge in our cathedral libraries. When it sits between the leather covers on mantles in every home, and then it will have no value. So. Everyone will have books. Those books will be worthless. An impassioned plea, old friend. But if cathedrals are the handwriting of the past, this press is of our time. And I will do anything to stop its growth. You mean you will rescind your father's solemn pledge to me to support the church in the banning of printed books? Your Majesty, if we do not break the press, then nothing would be of value. I'm not such a fool. I will drag this country into the 16th century. And I will protect France against printed books as I have protected France against witches, sorcerers, and gypsies in the past. <clears throat> there are no witches and sorcerers in France. Exactly. Your Majesty.
Absolution? Esmeralda? Who's there? An admirer. Someone who has seen you dance. It was a day ago. I heard the sound of music. My window looked out onto the square. And there I saw a creature dance. Creature so perfect that God himself would have preferred her to the Virgin, would have wished to have been born of her. And that creature was you, my angel. What do you want of me? The lines of your body moving to the music reached feelings long buried within me feelings i believe i had purged from my body feelings of love physical love base desires i have not been able to work that's when it struck me that that you were an angel, yes, an angel, but not an angel of light, and a dark angel sent from hell to destroy me, to destroy me at a time when I am being most directly challenged. I have tried to put you out of my mind. I've tried to do God's will, but your image is burned on the inside of my eyelids as though I had stared too long at the sun. Reading. Don't follow. I beg the hour. But I needed to finish our discussion. My servants did not announce you. I saw no one as I entered. What are you reading? I will not hide it from you. Marsilio Ficino. Ah. Yeah. Italian humanism. You realize, of course, that you are breaking the law. Your law, Monsignor, which I will endeavor to overturn. The reign of Louis XII will be the reign of change. The world which you seek to protect will be left behind. The world in which you seek to make, you will never see. 
Would you like to wager on that? <laughs> the king is committed to change. Perhaps you don't understand that. Perhaps it is you that does not understand. This king may change what he will. I meant that you would not live to see it. Monseigneur? Good night, Gaucher. God bless you. I was looking for you. I had to hide. What is it? There's everywhere. There's this man. They had him away. Slowly. It's the king's guard that they're rounding up all our women. They destroyed everything. Even the stuff we didn't steal. Why? It's me they want. Now come on, go quick, quick. Not too quick. We'll go back and distract them. Go, go. Quick. Get him. There she is. No. No. But I have done nothing. I have done nothing. Let go of me. Hey, child. There's no reason this should prove unpleasant. Please. Minister Gautier was stabbed to death with this knife. Does this dagger belong to you? Now, there's no use denying it. Many saw it on your person in the public square. Oh, sir. I'm innocent. I am. I'm very sorry. I must fulfill the duties of my office. The boot. No! To watch her down. Pity. Begin. No! I'll take it you confess. You deny the charges. Yes. Tighter. Ah! You deny the charges. Yes. Tighter. Ah! Oh, please, sir. Please. Tighter. Ah! They said I killed a man. I didn't. Did they hurt you? <sighs> I'll be able to walk up the gallows steps. Who is there? Are you afraid? Yes. But I deserve this. Do not fear. You are innocent. You are guilty of nothing. Green War, is it you? Goodbye. Wait. Don't, don't leave. Don't leave yet. I will set you free. Witch! Leave me alone! What is it? A visitor! Let me see my wife! Oh, Green War. What have they done to you, my darling? Tomorrow, I go to Louis himself. Do not give up hope, my darling. I love you. I'll see the king, I promise. I was at the window. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi. Corpus Domini Nostri Jesu Christi. Body of Christ.
corpus domini nostri, Jesu Christi. Esmeralda, a gypsy of the streets of the world, is to be hung by the neck until dead for taking the life of Monsieur Julien Gaucher. Thereafter, her body will remain on the scaffold for two days of public display! Are you ready for absolution, my child? You. Do you confess your sins in the eyes of God? That he may guide your soul to heaven? Never. She has refused absolution! No! No! What do you expect? May God have mercy on your soul. Gypsy witch and the 
on the hunchback. I'm going away, so you won't have to see my ugly face when you're eating. 
Wait! Please wait. Wait! Thank you. You call me back. You're burned. You must let me tend them. Thank you. Can you understand what I say? Yes. I thought you were deaf. I am. You think that is the last straw, don't you? Yeah. To be made this way, and deaf as well, is truly horrible. It's not that. Yes. I am deaf, you know. <laughs> anyway, I shall soon know what you want from the movement of your lips, from your eyes. Tell me, why did you rescue me? You asked me why I rescued you. Huh? See? You have forgotten a poor devil and that infamous pillory. A drop of water and a little compassion. I would pay for less than that with my life. You forgot that poor devil, but you remembered. Look, look, look. People, down there. Little people. They would have killed you. They still will. If you ever leave the church. It's no use. The king will force them to give me up. That, that would kill me. Look. We have got very high towers. A man who fell from them would be dead before he struck the pavement. When you want me to fall, you won't have to say a single word. A look will do. You don't understand. I never want you to be harmed. Thank you. Thank you. You will be safe here. Look! Oh, out there! to the moon. She made me deaf, you know. I can hear my friends. Shall I play them for you?
Why? Why do they call you La Esmeralda? That's my name. Uh, what does the word mean? Emerald. What does Quasimoto mean? Uh, almost made. No. That is my own private joke. Tis. Tis for the day Don Frollo took me in over 20 years ago. Kazimoto is the first Sunday after Easter. No Sunday. Are your parents alive? No. Do you miss them? I never knew them. I miss my gold, though. My parents are like an old dream. My parents, I never knew. Being not blind, but merely dumb of love. They abandoned me to die on the steps of this building. Don Frollo was the reverend then, not archdeacon. He took me out of the sight of men. For that, I am thankful. The books in the library below became my only companions. I read every one of them. Thanks to them, today I have many friends. From Cicero to the Celestine Fathers. They taught me scholastics, po poetics, rhythmics, or even hermetics. That wisdom of wisdom comes. And I, I'm, I'm writing a book. It will have over 600 pages when I finish. I've never seen a book before. It's Latin. Plutarch's life. It was you at the window of my cell. <laughs> Never have I seen my ugliness as I do now. When I compare myself to you, I feel very sorry for the poor, unhappy monster that I am. With you, a ray of sunshine, a drop of dew, the, the, the song of a bird. While I am, I am something frightful. More downtrodden. I'm not a beast. I'm I'm not an animal. <laughs> I'm about as shapeless as the man in the moon. <laughs> Come. 
Rest. Rest. All, all will be well. If you don't leave here, they can't get you. No one can get in here. I wouldn't let them. If you're afraid, pull the rope. I, I can hear the bell. He was sneaking by the camp. All right, back. He helped Esmeralda. You are the speaker? No, 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 him. No, I am the speaker. How is she? She's fine. She asks for you. What's this? Pardon. People of Paris. Quickly, please. Parisians, day after day, innocent people disappear. Some die on the gallows, others are buried alive in dungeons. <laughs> you wrote this. Hi. Hi. Is there nothing we can get you? Yes. A good. <coughs> oh. distributed by thieves, craftsmen, and students throughout Paris. The product of a printing press, sire. Well, you must have missed one. Yes. Yes, I... I am not perfect. Look out of the window. Paris is tearing itself down on it. Common people are calling for me to pardon this gypsy, my fellow nobles demand justice. They call for me to suspend sanctuary. That would be a terrible precedent. She killed my high minister. Her Majesty, Gaucher and I were not of like minds. But believe me in this, I want nothing more than to see this woman punished. I will continue the ban on printed books and the presses necessary to create them. God bless you. I knew that you would. I will find the people responsible for these pamphlets and I will deal with them. Claude, what am I supposed to do about this gypsy woman? Prepare to administer justice to her in the morning. But the law of sanctuary says that you cannot take her from the church. Oh, 
Come in, Quasimodo. Where is the gypsy? Where is she? You used the printing press. I needed to. You broke the law? I had to. She's innocent. Where is she? You violate my most sacred law. Please. Why is there some Morelda? the minister's death. She made me do it. The madness in my body. She created it. She made me a murderer. And for that, she must die. should die for your crime. Have you no pity? 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 Oh, Quasimodo. Pity me. To be a man of God and to love a woman and to love her more than God. To love her with all the fury of my soul and to feel that I would give my blood, my reputation, my salvation, my immortality, eternity, for the least of our smiles and to know that all I can offer is a filthy priest. fall in love with another, to see that body whose contours scorch you, and those breasts with all their softness, that flesh that throbs and reddens beneath another's kisses. Do you know the torture you can be made to endure through long nights by a bursting heart? Why do you think I did not know of such things? Has your search for the light made you blind? She destroyed my work. My vows. She came between God and me. She proved that I have lived a wasted life. And I was not worthy of God's work. Pity me, Quasimodo. Oh. You 
are pitiable. But I have no pity for you. You are not Saint Augustine. Yours is a torment you take for yourself and can end by choice. We will tell this story in the Hall of Justice. No! I will be rid of her. She's cursed you too. She's made us both murderers. <laughs> Fool. Do you think that she could love you? Father. I am not your father. Your father was wiser than I. He abandoned you. He left you to die. It was I who gave you life. You are... I'm not a freak. Let it be that this woman Beggars are going to attack the palace. Hundreds of them are rioting. People are actually rioting out of this party. What's all this about? Who are you? I am Clopin, King of Paris! Sire, my lord! And who are you? Sire, the gypsy girl is innocent. If she is innocent, then who is the real murderer? Solution. Please tell the truth.
Friends will 